When you go to the dentist, you assume the person doing the work in your mouth mm. is actually a dentist. But recently, we've heard from multiple people with the same shocking story. Their allegations sparked the state and the suburban police department to launch investigations. CBS 2's Lauren Victory has this exclusive you need to see before you open up. The last time Monica Bailey sat in a dentist's chair, she was hopeful. Now she's nervous, as if her teeth were chattering. It's hard. It is. Um... I'm just hoping that we can have a positive outcome. It was February when she visited this building in Schaumburg. Up on the eighth floor, Bailey and her 15-year-old daughter had appointments to get braces at a business called the Veneer Experts. Cleaned my teeth and started, you know, putting the glue on and putting the brackets on for the braces. And I thought what she was doing was how it's supposed to be done. We offer a wide range of services. Bailey says the woman in this video worked on their teeth. Her name is Monica Davis. State records show Davis registered the veneer experts as an Illinois business in July 2023. We're changing lives one smile at a time. She's slow and steady. How does it feel? A change is what tattoo artist Ralph Jones was after. You'd be hard pressed to find a photo of him with a toothy smile. They just started decaying and falling out and over the course of the years, like it just started like making their parents look pretty bad. A $2,000 price tag and huge customer smiles on the Veneer Experts Instagram page sold him. Jones visited Davis and her team for shiny teeth coverings called veneers. He says he was told these new smiles last eight to 10 years. That didn't happen for him. I woke up to a chip too. Like it was a piece of it chip. Bailey says her problem started when she tried to make a follow-up appointment. One of the numbers was disconnected. The other one, nobody would answer. Dr. Davis was nowhere to be found. Literally, CBS2 could not locate her name on the state website where dentists should be registered. In Illinois, dentists need to have a license. A license ensures that the person has had a high level of quality of education and training. And it guarantees a dentist is well versed in sanitation and patient safety. Lindsay Wagahoff from the Illinois State Dental Society explains the consequences for anyone who touches teeth without a license. Sometimes there's cease and desist letters that are sent um, and then obviously then there's a process then after that too in the, in the court system. An arrest, Davis knows all about that. Apparently, the veneer experts had also been operating at this Las Vegas strip mall, and Davis got picked up for illegally practicing dentistry without a Nevada dental license. You see that mugshot, and what goes through your mind? I just, I couldn't believe it. Then she looked at a calendar. Court documents show Davis was released from police custody in Nevada on January 31st. It was only nine days later when Bailey says she and her daughter got braces from the unlicensed dentist. It's crazy to me that she can do this in Las Vegas and post bail and you come here and do the same thing. It's like you have no fear. Speaking I, of I fear. You, I don't know what she put inside of my mouth. Jones took this photo of his chipped veneer. I'm just wondering your assessment. CBS2 was allowed to share it with a properly yeah, so credentialed dentist, Lauren Zalay. I mean, the gum tissue is, is what I'm very concerned about because if you can't brush under those teeth, you're not going to have teeth there much longer. Bite together. Bailey also got bad news from Dr. Zalay. They look like real braces, and but they, they don't connect to anything in the back and so there's no way to move the teeth. Meaning the braces aren't fixing anything. Did she take any x-rays or anything? Uh -uh. No x-rays. Because that's obviously the first thing. You know, you would want to make sure that, you know, the teeth are healthy before you're right. going to start moving them. So you don't have any comment on the people that you did procedures on here in Illinois? Hanging up was Davis's response to us. Our in-person research led to the discovery that the veneer experts were asked to leave their office in Schaumburg. A receptionist for the building said they'd gotten several calls from upset customers. We actually don't even know how many people that she actually did this to. It's just a big letdown. It's wrong. A line crossed that leaves a small business owner and others with no choice but to dip into their savings and start over. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Well, we reached Davis twice and both times. She didn't have anything to say about her business or the allegations. Her next Las Vegas court date is in May. A police investigation here in Illinois is still active and we'll update you as soon as action is taken.